the greatest force for mobilization, for participation, are strong institutions that organize people. And the obvious one is the political party, and our political parties are weaker than they are in other democracies. And in particular, other democracies have labor or social democratic parties that are specifically aimed at the less advantaged. And it was also that way because they had parliamentary systems, and it made it possible for the workers to really have their own parties, which were basically called social democratic parties, but in England were called a labor party. And so you genuinely had a pluralism in those countries that gave workers more of a say-so. There have been some fundamental changes in party politics in this country as we moved away from those large issues of the Cold War and the New Deal into a politics of many issues. I think it's been harder for the public to really get a sense of what the differences between the parties are, where their stake is in political conflict. And when candidates have to go to the middle in order to get this large pool of votes, then they are looking for the median voter rather than looking to represent the interests of poor people or the interests of working class people or the interests of citizens who have distinct interests but may not represent the median voter. And so the issues that the candidates talk about become almost identical. All seniors will get prescription drugs under Medicare. I want all seniors to have prescription drugs in Medicare. There's a Republican version and a Democratic version, but they're basically talking about the same things. And I think that discourages some voters from participating because they don't think that the candidates are talking about issues that are of concern to them, and certainly not in a way that matters to them. One of the reasons we had as much volatility as we did in the electorate in the year 2000 election, the Bush-Gore election, is that there was a much higher proportion of the people who were not either strong conservatives or strong liberals, and they were ambivalent about the choice. I'm a Democrat and I voted Republican. I'm a Democrat myself, but I voted for McCain because... There's this larger free-floating segment of the population now that doesn't feel it has a natural home in either party and is not quite sure what to do about it. The third party choices that we've had haven't really spoken to them. At the same time, party politics in the United States has become less connected to the voter. In mid-century, the parties were organized more like unions, and so there was a lot of local activity uh, to make sure that people were involved in party events and, and things of that nature. As the 20th century progressed, it became much more economical to run larger campaigns than like Madison Avenue and have a centralized media-based advertising strategy. Politics is more managed today than ever. We have political advertising, we have an enormous amount of fundraising. Elections are slick, but it also looks prepackaged, uh, and it seems not quite real. And so this whole question of how authentic our politics happens to be, that's an issue with people. The point is that using television means that candidates sell themselves as if they're a bar of soap. Used to be candidates or political parties would knock on the door and talk to people about the issues and not only persuade people that their version or their view of the issues was right, but persuade people that their participation mattered. Door knocking really contributed to much higher rates of participation. But when you just get out the vote efforts through television, then it's treating citizens as consumers rather than as active participants in their democracy, and that also depresses turnout. As people find it harder to get their arms around what's going on in the political arena, find it harder to relate to the candidates, find it harder in some ways to connect with deep fundamental issues uh, around which they can rally and around which a lot of others can also rally and where you can see the nation's future at stake. As those things diminish, then it's harder and harder for people, I think, to engage this process.